Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's Trixie here with Pick a Trix. I am going to be getting your January through June of 2023 reading going today. I'm going to be using the Witch's Tarot to bring out one card for each of those months. And then I will clarify with the Illuminati Tarot here. <clears throat> I also am going to throw one Oracle of the Fairies card at the end, as well as an affirmation card from the Super Attractors by Gabby Bernstein that I will write down in the comments that affirmation for you to really hone in on throughout the first half of the year. So Pisces, please keep in mind that I am not a licensed physician. So if you're not feeling well, seek out a doctor. These are also meant for entertainment purposes, Pisces. So please take what resonates and leave the rest behind using your intuition. Um, right out the gate is a page of cups in reverse, Pisces, okay? For the month of January. Now that card came out for Aquarius. So if you have an Aquarius placement or an Aquarius around you or you're dealing with an Aquarius, I do feel like Pisces, you might want to go check out that reading. But for February, you have the Nine of Wands. Wow. Okay. I, I do feel in February, you've stepped outside some sort of you could have created a boundary. Um, I'm actually seeing somebody like take their foot and draw a line in the sand, almost like a starting line or a finish line. And you set this boundary because like at one point in time, it was really, really good for you. And in February, I feel like that boundary is going to be, it's not being extended or changed or stepped outside of for like reasons that bring you harm. It's more like you've outgrown that boundary. Okay. Ten of Wands, yeah. You've outgrown a boundary. Uh, you've outgrown a, a position, a place. For some of you, this is like a job. And it's going to be quite the burden in March to change. Where, like, if you work in one department, Pisces, you're going to be given, like, a promotion or a, 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 a different job title. And you're going to have to, in March, it's a lot of work. You're going to have to pack all your stuff up at your desk and, you know... Or get a new computer and change all your crap from one computer to the other. This is something where like the right people, places, and things with the Two of Cups come in to assist you in March. And the reason that it's like this boundary is adjusting in February is because you're you're just ready. It's time for you to have some sort of boundary or bounty that you've been working really hard for. But you are quite the novice in this. So don't shoot the messenger. Don't, you know rain down on the parade of those that are trying to help you because they're here to alleviate a burden and your perspective is shifting in March okay that perspective it's like where like um like an emperor or king they conquer new lands the boundary has to be moved they've acquired something April damn I can't even make this up the high priest yes Pisces you are committing to a new boundary. You're committing in April to a new tower, a new castle, a new something, a new village, a new home, a new contract, a new commitment. He's Some of you are going to buy a home or sell a home in April. Nine of Cups in reverse. I'm leaning more towards selling, which ultimately means that you're going to be buying one later in the year. Um, again, that's like where you have to pack, you have to move. I keep seeing people packing. I keep seeing boxes like sitting on tables, you know, flaps open, stuff inside. There's bubble wrap. There's, um, there's carts with wheels on them. You're moving, you're moving in some way, shape or form. Okay. And that movement creates new new territories, it creates new boundaries, it creates new lands, it creates new opportunities, okay? It's a bit of a burden, yeah. Okay, so here's June, Ace of Swords. The insight, the wisdom, the connection, the communication, the advice uh, with, you know, the tables that you want to be sitting in come in in June, okay? Um, bottom of the deck is the Two of Wands, so you definitely have a little bit of rose-colored glasses on about the first half of the year, okay? Um, I almost think that it's like a, well, let's take this Illuminati Tarot and see what's going on here, Patsy's. Let's see. Okay, so I, 
am getting the sense that you're going to meet somebody with a really strong accent. It could be a southern accent. This person is here in by April. Um, you two have an idea or a presentation or a theory or something that by June, it's like you're working out all the details and by June, you're seeing where you're wearing some like, um, some lenses that are kind of clouding the situation, but that person is too. And the cloud that, that is removed from you, for you by this person, you're removing a cloud for that person, okay? Very equal give and take. Temperance came out for this page of cups in January. Wow. You're healing your heart, Pisces. There's quite a storm that you're going through right now. You're brewing up a storm as you're watching this. And um, you're kind of sitting in the middle of it. In January, that storm really kind of like it like evens out and it balances and in kind of the center of it. I don't think you realize that as you're watching this though. You're saying some things, you're yeah, king of wands. You're at the center of some level of storm. Um, like the changes that are going on around you, you don't even realize, Pisces, that you are the catalyst for this change. And it's your passion and your drive and your belief in this. And, and that is propelling a lot of opportunities for the universe to come in and create the perfect swell, the perfect... If you, if you surf, that means something. If you don't surf, like go, maybe go watch a surfing, like professional surfing video, which sounds super strange, but there's even like documentaries on Amazon about the surfing community and how it really rose in the nineties and why it rose. It's something like that. Like you're the catalyst. You're the leader. A King of Wands is a, a, is a leader. You know, they're Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you have the Sagittarius card out here and there's a Princess of Wands here. Um, <clears throat> so in January, Pisces, you in another energy, this king and this, this princess of wands, this page of cups here, somebody has been um, masking themselves as a water energy, and they have a really strong fire placement. That fire placement is going to come out in full force in, uh, in January, and, and they're not going to be able to wear that mask anymore. You're just going to kind of watch it collapse. If this is a work-related thing, I kind of feel like you need to laugh at home. You need to let yourself really laugh at how much you knew something was coming for somebody else. It's almost like somebody else is getting their karma, but you're getting the opposite end of that karma. Like, you're getting the positive end of that. That's the best analogy I can give you. Is like, there's a polarity here with this Princess of Wands and this King of Wands. Somebody's really immature in your atmosphere. They're kind of like just an asshole, Pisces. And uh, you might even call them that, especially if you already know that they have a fire placement. It, you know, this you and this person are not emotionally present for one another. And the reason that you're not emotionally present for this person is that you know they're not safe. And they're not emotionally present for you because they're not healed. They're not healed in the atmosphere of what you're struggling with them with. They haven't even looked at it. They're not interested in looking at it. And they're sort of like letting their own demise collapse down around them. They could be blaming other people, but everyone around them knows they're the problem. Okay. And you need to hear that, Pisces. You might be the catalyst for the change in this, this very particular person. It, like you're like, no, I'm not playing with that. I have no interest in working with that. And that hard no, it changes your boundaries with this nine of wands. It, yeah, it moves you. Seven of, or the, uh, the chariot here. It literally moves you forward. Your boundaries truly are expanding. And it's because you're doing the work, okay? You're putting in the work. No matter how hard, how difficult it is, you're studying, you're listening, you're observing, you're being a student. You're also teaching when the moment arises. You're not forcing lessons. Okay. The High Priestess and the Three of Cups. So Capricorn had Three of Cups, I believe it was. <clears throat> so... 
there is definitely an energy here where you need to be trusting your intuition. You need to be tapping into your uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio placements. But also, your second house is important, and the universe really would like you to go check out your second house. Um, you're going to have to say no to a celebration. Somebody may invite you to a birthday party a wedding, some type of success that they've had, and you need to say no to this in February. Um, you and this person aren't really meant to be in each other's lives. At one point in time you were, but now you and this person are no good for each other. They may have an initial of a B or a J. I do feel like when you're invited to this thing, it's not only are you invited to this by somebody else, Pisces, but the person that's in, like, the person that this celebration is for, they don't ever get invited to events for you by you either. It's like a mirrored image where, like, you're invited, like, it's like where you have a party and then you tell somebody, oh, hey, go, go, go tell somebody, like, go tell XYZ about this and tell them they're invited. Versus you doing the work and putting, like, picking up the phone and being like, hey, I have this birthday party next week and I'd really like you to be there. Can you come? Can I count you in? They have somebody else do the dirty work for them. But it's, it's mirror. It's the same for that person that you're being invited to their event. They feel the same way about you. And it has an energy where you're learning something about yourself and you don't have to learn that anymore and neither does that person. It's like you just accept each other for who you are and, and who what you taught one another. Okay, Pisces? Um, this person's being removed from your life pretty quickly, actually, over 2023. The Empress. <laughs> the High Priestess to the Empress. Saying no elevates you. It moves you on a path where the burdens that are in your life easily remove themselves for you. Or this man walks up that path and he walks past somebody 10 times, 10 different faces. They need those wands. And it's divine timing for him to give them those wands at that time. Okay? You have advice coming in in, in, in uh, March that you don't see coming from an earth sign Pisces. Possibly a mother, a sister, a friend, a female of some sorts. This person might be holding a peacock. Or have a peacock on their shirt or have like a peacock or something to do with a peacock and um that person's advice almost feels like a burden but you know that you have to invest in that advice you're like crap that is the that is the answer and that answer feels very heavy but you're like oh my gosh how did i miss this okay yeah judgment here this piece of advice releases you. It, um, it allows you to come out as like Pisces 2.0, 100%. Um, the universe is protecting this because it's going to be some work in March. It's going to be quite a bit of work. Seven of Swords, yeah. Uh, all right. Um, the Ten of Wands is not the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's, there's an energy in your life. And this guy on this Seven of Swords... Um, <clears throat> Pisces, he runs to, in the middle of the night when everybody's asleep, he runs over to the camp of his enemy and he steals their swords. Which means when they wake up in the morning, his enemies don't have swords to fight him. They just don't have what the tools that they need to go to war. And somebody's teaching you about when you have opportunity to remove or change the opposition's ability to attack you. Um, and that's freedom. Because two swords are a lot less painful than seven. Okay, 1444 was on the board. Y'all have some big Sagittarius vibes, okay? Um, in your energy. And I sort of feel like you need to address that. 
Okay. There is somebody in March that is going to teach you about how to heal. And it's going to be a very successful opportunity because in April, the Six of Wands and the High Priest, there is a balance that comes in in April for you, Pisces. Two of Cups came out. And, and I feel like unexpected help shows up for you in April that in your wildest dreams, you could not imagine this energy showing up for you right now in this moment. And the reason is that there's somebody in your atmosphere that still has seven swords and you have to be willing to remove five of them. And it's going to be a hell of a lot of work with the Ten of Wands. But somebody's going to teach you why. And, and, and you're going to be like, you know what, you're right. The right person is going to come in and help you understand something about yourself. And that tool is the very courage that you need to go steal the enemy's defenses to go steal the tools of the enemy. Princess of Cups. This Princess of Cups is much different than this Page of Cups, okay, that you have in January. She's older. She's more like a close to a young adult, like graduated high school age, versus this little eight or nine year old, okay? There's somebody in your atmosphere that has a very, very deep seated wounded inner child and that person is going to make themselves very known to you in January. By April there is a very different princess of cups a very a much more mature person completely different person that enters your life. They may have blonde hair um and that person is here because you are meant to be a mentor to them. You cannot be a mentor to that person with this Seven of Swords, though. They will not tolerate whatever that Seven of Swords uh, implicates, which means that you will miss an opportunity in, you know, April, May, and June if you're not willing to face the rose-colored glasses about whatever this Seven of Swords is, okay? <clears throat> Queen of Wands and the Nine of Cups, yeah. Nine of Cups in reverse for May, Queen of Wands. So you are attracting something. You're manifesting a life in May that I'm not even sure that you know what you're manifesting or really why you're manifesting or what you're working towards. You just know that you deserve better. And because of that, Pisces, you're willing to let go of anything that you have worked towards right in this moment because you just know that most of it cannot go forward with you in the future. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. This reading is going a little bit longer than I anticipated. And um, this is, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a message for you. This has gone on a little bit longer than it was ever intended to. has gone on longer than it was ever intended to. You may say that to somebody. My heart, your heart, my heart is like, I almost feel nauseous. So what you go through um, and what you're engaging in in this first five months, it's like you don't really, this Queen of Wands never cares. Back when Egyptian times, Black cats were symbols of royalty. They were incredibly important. But there came this period uh, where black cats came up with this stigma. And it was during this, the witch trials, to be honest. Black cats sort of historically their meaning and vibration with spiritualism, regardless of your belief system, shifted. And it, it's directly related to the clergymen and the people that were hired to burn witches at the stake. And so there's, there's an energy here that your soul has been trapped by. Somebody has made you feel shame and guilt and um, has oppressed you for possibly centuries. Your soul has felt this. And when you break free of this burden, when somebody helps you go and remove this Seven of Swords from your life, you're going to attract a massive wish come true. And, and the reason I say that is like,
this black cat's really standing out to me. Maybe, maybe I just need to tell you to go research black cats and you need, it's like, you know, those pages out there, Pisces, that have like top 10 most common spiritual meanings for black cats. You need to read all 10 of them because the one that you think applies to you is not the one that's going to resonate. Okay. The sun. Yeah. Some of you have a Leo in your atmosphere that's going to like leave in May or move. This person, um, they need to do something for themselves. They need to, they need to go chase after a dream. They might move to another city or another country, accept a study abroad or a, a contract or a career path overseas. It's kind of going to break your heart, Pisces. <clears throat> But you need to be happy for that person because that person not being in your life allows you to manifest something else into your life that you desire much more as they're manifesting what they're desiring, you know, separate from you. The Prince of Pentacles, yeah, you need to take action in May towards something that's your dream. You need to invest in something that's very important to you in May. King of Cups. In June, the Ace of Swords and the King of Cups, you're going to make room. For an investment that you have sat very long with. You're not ready as you watch this for this investment in any capacity, but over the course of the six months, Spirit presents you with the right conversations the right help, the people that show up and sort of surprise you. Um, and Pisces, there's this King of Cups. He represents an evolution for you, evolving into a, a different version of yourself that you feel that you can become, but you're you're not sure that you know that you can become this version. And the Prince of Cups here with the King of Cups. This Prince of Cups is reminding you of the work that this Princess of Cups has guided you to take and commit to. And the King of Cups and the Prince of Cups, this is actually like a father and a son or a sister and a mother. They're new energies to you. I don't know that you've ever met these people before that you meet in June, Pisces. And these, th these two people are related in some capacity. Um... They work together. They're a really great team. I don't know if they're men or women. They might even be like a father and a daughter or a son, you know, a mother and a son. In June, these two new people come into your life because of whatever this son and queen of wands is in May and Princess, Pr prince of pentacles. It's like the steps that you're asked to take in May and June draw in this prince and king of cups because you're you're de destined to have this conversation. You see these people coming before they come, like somebody's gonna like schedule an appointment with them for you in May, and you're like, oh my God, that's gonna be that king and that prince. And you may meditate more leading up to that meeting because, or sit, sit in silence more, put your phones down more. You might not engage in activities in May because you know that there is some level of divine interaction with a prince and a king of cups that you are going to have to be on point. You're going to have to have all your paperwork and all of your, um, <clears throat> all your ducks in a row. All right, we got two cards to close out June. Um, the three of wands and the seven of wands. So a ten of wands came out. Yeah, you need to let go of your worries and your fears and believing that things have to show up in a certain way. Okay. Uh, Pisces, the universe has a massive surprise for you in June. And I feel like telling you that these two, this prince and this king of cups, they're going to do all the work for you because you've done all the work that they need you to do for them to do their work. You just, let me give you an example. Um, I ordered a custom wheelchair recently and it takes months for those to be 
um, delivered. And they cost a lot of money, a lot. Money that most people could never afford in this life. The middle class could never afford. And um, But our insurance, right? Our premiums are paid. I've done all the work. And so now I have to sit back and let the wheelchair company create this wheelchair, right? And the people who word it so that I get the wheelchair we discussed. This King of Cups and this, prin this Prince of Cups are like the two people that I sat in a room with for over two hours and discussed my needs in a wheelchair. I've done the work to know what I need in a wheelchair. These two people, this King and this Prince, symbolize something like that. Pisces, you've done the work and now they need to listen to you. They need to hear you out. They need to clarify things and it's, it's gonna be heavy, but they have all the right tools to take your needs and make them into a tangible item in June, okay? And that's wild. So that's profound. It's going to be very, very relieving for you. You may book the, I think you're going to book the appointment for whatever goes down in June. It'll be booked in May. Let's get a Oracle of Fairy for you. Okay. <clears throat> Look in a book. And I'm going to continue that. Um, my, my wheelchair evaluation, I had to look in books on websites. I had to study. I had to buy wheelchairs with my own money to understand what was best. So there's there's this investment that you're engaging in for the first like four to five months of the year that leads to this big win in June, Pisces, that you're gonna, not going to want to miss. But this Seven of Swords has got to go because this Seven of Swords, whatever this represents for you, it, it's a huge freaking burden to you. And um, that burden will block, 100% will block June, regardless of how June goes, if you do not deal with it, okay, in March. And um, that's kind of made me almost want to throw up thinking about that. Sorry. It's just what Spirit said. You got to deal with it. <sighs> All right. Your affirmation from the Super Attractor deck by Gabby Bernstein will be down in the comments. And it says, when I merge my desire with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than control. I think that's a beautiful way to sum this up. Have an absolutely beautiful day. I'm looking forward to hearing from you in the future. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting on the channel. I will get at you next time. Please go check out all four of your big four so that you can get a bigger picture.